Did you know that the average person forgets 50% of new information within an hour? Shocking, right? But what if there was a way to learn faster and remember more? Enter the Feynman technique. Named after Richard Feynman, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, this method is a game changer. Feynman wasn't just a genius in science, he was a master at learning. He could break down complex ideas into simple, easy to understand pieces. And the best part? Anyone can use his technique. Imagine being able to master any subject quickly. Studies show that teaching others can boost your own understanding by up to 90%. Feynman knew this and used it to his advantage. He once said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. This approach helped him learn faster and more effectively. In this video, we'll dive into the Feynman technique. We'll show you how to teach, simplify, identify gaps, and review like a pro. You'll learn strategies that make complicated ideas clear and easy to remember. And we'll include a real-life example to see how it works in action. Ready to boost your learning speed and retention? Let's get started with the Feynman technique and transform the way you learn. Chapter 1, The Genius of Feynman, Uncovering His Learning Secrets Richard Feynman was a physicist who won the Nobel Prize, but his approach to learning made him legendary. He had a unique way of breaking down complex ideas. Feynman's method is simple yet powerful. He believed that if you can't explain something simply, you don't understand it well enough. This idea is at the core of the Feynman technique. Feynman used his method to master subjects quickly. He said, study hard what interests you the most in the most undisciplined, irreverent, and original manner possible. This approach made learning fun and effective for him. The Feynman technique is all about making knowledge accessible and clear. It's not just for physicists, anyone can use it. Research shows that teaching others can boost your own understanding. A study from the Journal of Educational Psychology found that students who taught others scored 20% higher on tests. This is a key part of the Feynman technique. Feynman often explained complex ideas in simple terms. He believed this made the concepts clearer and easier to remember. Feynman also used analogies to simplify ideas. For example, he compared the behavior of particles to the movement of people in a crowded room. This made abstract concepts more relatable. His ability to make science fun and understandable was one of his greatest strengths. He once said, I would rather have questions that can't be answered than answers that can't be questioned. Feynman's curiosity drove his learning. He was always asking questions and seeking to understand more. This curiosity is something we can all cultivate. The Feynman technique encourages us to dive deep into subjects we are passionate about. It's about enjoying the process of learning and discovery. The method can be applied to any field, not just science. Whether you're studying history, math, or a new language, the Feynman technique can help. It's about simplifying, clarifying, and enjoying the learning process. Feynman's approach shows us that learning doesn't have to be a chore. It can be a fun and rewarding experience. Chapter 2, The 4-Step Feynman Formula, Simplified for You The Feynman technique consists of four key steps, teaching, simplifying, identifying gaps, and reviewing. Let's dive into each step and see how they work. Step 1, Teach Start by choosing a concept you want to learn. Write it down as if you are teaching it to someone else. Use simple language and avoid jargon. Pretend you are explaining it to a child. This forces you to understand the concept deeply. Teaching is a powerful tool for learning. When you teach, you organize your knowledge and make it clearer. A study in the Journal of Science Teaching found that students who taught others retained 90% of what they learned. This is because teaching forces you to clarify and simplify. Step 2. Simplify. Break the concept down into its most basic parts. Strip away any unnecessary details. Focus on the core ideas. Simplification makes the information easier to understand and remember. Albert Einstein once said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. Simplification also involves using analogies and metaphors. These tools can make complex ideas more relatable. For example, if you're learning about electrical circuits, you might compare them to water flowing through pipes. This makes the abstract concept more concrete. Step 3. Identify gaps. Review what you've written and look for any parts that are unclear. These are your knowledge gaps. It's important to identify and address these gaps. Feynman said, the first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. When you find a gap, go back to your sources and study that part again. Fill in the gaps until you can explain the concept clearly and simply. 
This process ensures a deep and thorough understanding. It's like building a strong foundation for your knowledge. Step 4. Review. Finally, review the material regularly. Repetition reinforces what you've learned. A study from the University of Waterloo found that spaced repetition can improve retention by up to 200%. This means reviewing the material at increasing intervals. Regular review helps to transfer information from short-term to long-term memory. It solidifies your understanding and makes recall easier. The Feynman technique encourages continuous learning and improvement. It's not just about memorizing facts, but truly understanding them. Chapter 3, Step 1, Teach Like a Pro, Mastering the Art of Explanation. Teaching is the first step of the Feynman technique, and it's a powerful way to learn faster. The act of teaching forces you to organize your thoughts and articulate them clearly. When you teach, you're essentially processing the information twice, once for yourself and once for your audience. Start by writing down the concept you want to learn. Imagine you're teaching it to a friend or even a child. Use simple language and avoid jargon. The simpler your explanation, the better you understand the concept. A study from the Journal of Science Education and Technology found that students who taught others showed a 12% increase in test scores compared to those who only studied. Feynman was a master at this. He believed in breaking down complex ideas into simple, digestible parts. He once said, if you want to master something, teach it. This approach helps solidify your understanding and makes it easier to recall later. Using analogies can also help. For example, if you're learning about photosynthesis, you might compare it to cooking. Just as a chef uses ingredients to create a dish, plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to create food. This makes the concept more relatable and easier to grasp. Another tip is to use visual aids. Draw diagrams or use charts to illustrate your points. Visuals can make abstract ideas more concrete. According to a study by the University of Alabama, students who used visual aids during teaching sessions retained 29% more information than those who didn't. Engage your audience by asking questions. This not only keeps them involved but also helps you identify any gaps in your explanation. If they can't understand a part of your explanation, it likely means you need to clarify it further. Practice teaching in different ways. You can write it down, speak it out loud, or even use video recordings. Each method reinforces your understanding differently. A study from the American Educational Research Journal found that students who used multiple methods to teach retained 21% more information. By teaching, you're forced to simplify and clarify. This step is crucial for mastering any concept. Remember, the goal is to make your explanation as clear and straightforward as possible. If you can teach it well, you understand it well. Chapter 4, Step 2, Simplify or Die, The Power of Breaking Down Concepts. Simplifying is the heart of the Feynman technique. It's about breaking down complex ideas into their most basic components. This makes the information easier to understand and remember. Feynman believed that true mastery comes from simplicity. Start by identifying the core idea of the concept you're learning. Focus on the essential elements and strip away the rest. This process is like decluttering your mind. It helps you see the idea more clearly. Feynman once said, you can know the name of a bird in all the languages of the world, but when you're finished, you'll know absolutely nothing about the bird. Use simple language to explain the concept. Avoid technical terms and jargon. Pretend you're explaining it to a child. The simpler your explanation, the better you understand the concept. A study from the University of California, Berkeley, found that using simple language helps improve comprehension by 15%. Analogies and metaphors can also help. They make abstract ideas more concrete. For example, think of the human brain as a computer. Just as a computer processes information, so does the brain. This makes the concept more relatable and easier to grasp. Visual aids are another powerful tool. Draw diagrams or use charts to illustrate your points. Visuals can make complex ideas more tangible. According to a study by the University of Minnesota, visuals increase retention by 29%. Simplifying also involves organizing your thoughts. Create an outline or a mind map to structure the information. This helps you see the connections between different parts of the concept. A study from the University of Toronto found that students who used mind maps retained 20% more information. Practice simplifying regularly. The more you do it, the better you become at breaking down complex ideas. Feynman himself was known for his ability to simplify. He once said, the first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. 
Simplification makes learning more efficient and enjoyable. It helps you focus on the core idea and avoid getting lost in the details. By simplifying, you're making the concept easier to understand and remember. This step is crucial for mastering any subject. Chapter 5, Step 3, Find Your Blind Spots, Turning Weaknesses Into Strengths. Identifying gaps in your understanding is the third step of the Feynman technique. This step is crucial because it reveals where you need to improve. Feynman believed that acknowledging what you don't know is as important as knowing what you do. Start by reviewing your notes and explanations. Look for parts that seem unclear or confusing. These are your blind spots. It's essential to address these areas to strengthen your overall understanding. Feynman once said, the first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Ask yourself tough questions about the material. If you can't answer them confidently, it's a sign that you need to review that part. A study from the Journal of Experimental Psychology found that self-testing can improve retention by up to 50%. This technique forces you to confront your knowledge gaps. Another effective strategy is to teach the material to someone else and ask for their feedback. They might point out areas where your explanation is unclear. This feedback is invaluable for identifying and correcting gaps in your knowledge. According to a study from Harvard University, peer teaching can enhance learning by 30%. When you find a gap, go back to your sources and study that part again. Take your time to understand it thoroughly. This process might seem tedious, but it's essential for deep learning. Feynman believed that revisiting the basics strengthens your foundation. Use multiple sources to fill your gaps. Different perspectives can provide a more comprehensive understanding of the topic. A study from the University of Illinois found that using varied sources can improve comprehension by 25%. This approach ensures you cover all angles of the concept. Analogies can also help bridge your knowledge gaps. They make complex ideas more relatable. For example, if you're struggling with the concept of gravity, think of it like a magnet pulling objects toward it. This simplifies the idea and makes it easier to grasp. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Consult teachers, peers, or experts in the field. They can provide insights and explanations that you might not have considered. A study from the Journal of Educational Psychology found that collaborative learning can improve understanding by 28%. Remember, identifying and addressing gaps is a continuous process. It's not about achieving perfection but about striving for a deeper understanding. This step is about being honest with yourself and seeking to improve. Chapter 6, Step 4, The Review Revolution, Reinforcing and Retaining Knowledge. Reviewing is the final step of the Feynman technique, and it's essential for reinforcing and retaining knowledge. Regular review ensures that information moves from short-term to long-term memory. This step solidifies your understanding and makes recall easier. Start by scheduling regular review sessions. Studies from the University of Waterloo show that spaced repetition can improve retention by up to 200%. This means reviewing the material at increasing intervals. For example, review the concept one day after learning it, then a week later, and finally a month later. Use different methods to review the material. You can write summaries, create flashcards, or even record yourself explaining the concept. Each method reinforces your understanding in a unique way. A study from the American Journal of Educational Research found that using varied review techniques can improve retention by 32%. Active recall is a powerful review technique. Instead of just reading your notes, try to recall the information from memory. This method strengthens neural connections and improves retention. According to a study from the University of California, active recall can boost memory by 50%. Visualization can also aid in review. Draw diagrams or use mind maps to represent the information visually. This makes abstract concepts more tangible and easier to remember. A study from the University of Minnesota found that students who used visual aids retained 29% more information. Teach the material to someone else as a form of review. This forces you to articulate your understanding clearly and identify any remaining gaps. Feynman believed that teaching was the best way to solidify knowledge. He said, if you want to master something, teach it. Another effective strategy is to integrate the new knowledge with what you already know. This creates a network of related information, making it easier to recall. A study from the Journal of Cognitive Science found that integrating new and old information can improve retention by 